So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So, um, I'm still working on, I know I've said it before, but I am still working on colouring recordings and I'll definitely get there. I've just been working on the competition for Millie Marotta's um, latest competition and I've finished that now, so I'm obviously going to be getting back to it. I haven't been getting to a lot of editing by the time I record just because of this and I'm still in a lot of pain and that, but yeah, I can only wait till I see the orthopedic. But anyway, I thought today I would come in with a book unboxing for our crates Call Down the Hawk box. So I ordered this one quite a while ago and I completely forgot that it was coming. I have pretty much opened it just so you don't have to see me struggle on camera. Pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I would um, just do this. So I've pretty much sealed it, just checked everything's in there. I haven't really looked at anything properly. I did get spoiled a bit, but yeah, I haven't really looked at anything properly. So I'm gonna open that up and it's obviously a slightly different box. It's sort of a black box with a blue inside. I'm guessing to do with the cover of the book. And as you can see, we've got our spoiler card on top, which is our Call Down the Hawk spoiler card, a boxing collaboration with Maggie Stevarta. And we've also got our photo challenge here as well. Um, let's see. Can I get that to focus? So we've got our photo challenge, which has the same frame. And then we've got it smells really good in this box, <laughs> I'll be honest. So we've got our first item here, which is, um, well, I'm pretty certain this is the pillowcases they announced on their website as coming in this box. Oh wow, those pillowcases feel really nice. Really nice and soft. So. Um, from what I know, I think there is two pillowcases in here, and they're just for a standard format pillow. Um, so let's see, can I show this? Probably I'll just shift that briefly. And then shift that. So let's see, can we zoom out a little? Let's zoom out a little more just so you can see this. So this pillowcase is so pretty. I love it with the moon and the ravens and the, there's like all these little feathers and clouds and like trees. It's beautiful. I haven't read the Raven Boys series yet, but I've got them and I still really want to read them, but yeah, it's kind of time. And it's, um, front and back as you can see here this is the second one and this is the other one and they yeah they just feel really nice I'm really really happy to have those Maggie Stevata yeah pillowcases are always a nice thing to get <laughs> I'm really really loving those so let's bring our box back here and yeah and we'll zoom in a little bit again. Just gotta put these somewhere quickly. I don't wanna <laughs> drop them on the floor or whatever because Lily tends to lose a lot of hair. So let's just zoom in a bit closer. So let's see what other items we've got in here. I think I'm going to go for this item first, which is, from what I know, um, this is a beanie that says dreamer with just, um, I think trees and like birds or ravens on it and the patterns. The only bummer about this is, is the fact that it is now heading towards summer here in Australia, so I'm not actually going to be able to use this for a good six months, whereas in America and I think England, I'm not sure, uh, basically going into winter now, so it's like they can all use these things and yet I'm sitting here in Australia and it's like the wind stuff and it's like, it's so disappointing because it's like I can't use it because I know it's going to be 35, 40 degrees Celsius and it's like, ah, bummer. 
and we got our little pom pom thing here. It is, um, I don't know if you can see that on there, but it is kind of like a dark navy. But yeah, it's always kind of disappointing the fact that I'm gonna have to wait six or more months till I can use these again. <laughs> but yeah, that's life. Next thing we have is a large candle. I'm not sure of the size of this. Um, and it is called Night Wash. And let's just get that to focus. It's a Rose and Adder Owl Crate exclusive Blackberry Sage and Rosemary. And I tend to use candles, but sometimes now I, like, from what I've read, the Woodwick ones do definitely need trimming. But I've found with, um, like my wax candles with the string that I tend to trim. For some reason with them, it actually, I've found more issues when I do trim them than when I don't trim them because then they end up too short and they sort of seem to smoke a lot more and like sometimes the longer ones have that issue but I tend to find I have a lot more issues when I'm trimming them and doing everything properly than when I'm um, not doing it properly with that, but I think for the wood wick you're definitely supposed to trim them. And that's what our inside of the candle looks like. It is beautiful. It's got rose and adder and just a paper star in it. Um, let's see, I didn't have that focus properly, but yeah. But yeah, I've sort of I think I'll try doing it the correct way with the Woodwick candles, but with my regular candles, like I'll show you, this is my current one that I'm using from Royal Essence. And I've actually found with these ones with Royal Essence, when I follow all the instructions correctly, I find I have more issues with the candle and the way it burns than by not trimming the wicks and stuff because it gets too short, it doesn't burn properly, I have all those sorts of issues. So. Um, yeah, I guess it's just experimenting with your candles and learning what works best, but that is still safe in that aspect. I guess you could say so. It's different brands seem to burn differently and do things differently, I've discovered. So, yeah. Anyway, that's just um, my bit of knowledge, what I've learned when whilst burning candles anyway, that... The different types of candles seem to burn differently and sometimes the safety instructions aren't necessarily what works for certain candles and then sometimes the safety instructions are what works and are best to follow. But I find it always best to follow the safety instructions first and then if the safety instructions do create more issues then you work out your own way of safely, um, safely I guess um, burning the candle so for me I always also have it on a like a um, like on an actual candle board it's a bit dusty at the minute but I always have mine sitting on a candle board that can handle the heat so things like that but yeah I guess it's just learning what works best and going from there and doing the safety instructions but always doing it in a safe way no matter how you do it so next we've got this little Our Crate box here and yeah I was wondering if this was this because I did get a bit spoiled. This is a raven and skull necklace that we've got. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure when I'll use this yet but I know I'll definitely use it and I really really love it. It's so pretty. It sort of reminds me a bit of Snow White as well with this apple the skull that happens with the apple when the poison drips down it <laughs> and the way it looks and yeah I'm very happy to have that I'm so excited and glad to have this box um, next thing we've got here and I'm going to see if I have to take this out of the plastic or not which looks like this time I'm not going to have to again but we got an Owl Crate limited edition pin. I might just take it, try taking it out anyway. Ouch. Just to see it without the reflection properly. So we got this Owl Crate exclusive limited edition pin with the two swords and 
um, vexed nightmare from chaos is what it says so I'm not sure what that's to do with because I haven't read the books yet but obviously I wanted this so I got it anyway the next thing we got here and um, I'm not gonna pull the don't know if I'll I'll take these out and see but I'm not gonna pull them apart right now just because it's kind of awkward with the way my hand and wrist is oh shit sorry excuse me so this is a pair of socks that we've gotten I am qualm does it say or alter idea also maybe it's different quotes on each sock but they say they're pinch ley line socks our crate exclusive which I'm sure I'll use I'm always losing my socks because of my ankle issues and ankle problems I'm always losing my second pair of socks not deliberately but I'm always trying to find the second half of my socks <laughs> So I'm kind of haven't been using these ones yet because I don't want to lose all the matching pairs and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah, I've kind of got to find all my pairs because no matter how hard I try to keep them together, they seem to somehow always have a pair, one half go missing. So next we've got, um, get this focused. We've got an owl crate keychain. And I hope you can see this properly, but it basically says the Carter Hotel presents the fairy market, and it's a keychain, which is very nice. It's actually quite heavy duty, um, and obviously metal. But yeah, I really like how it looks. It's kind of reflecting a bit, so it's hard to get you to see it, but it's kind of got a butterfly with the skull above it and some little chains off it kind of yeah it's very very nice I'm very happy to have that and then I think is the last thing here a book yes it is so let's just shift all these little pockets that we need to put stuff back in Shift that over there. So the last thing we've got here, and um, do I need to zoom in more? No, probably not. Is our Maggie Steve to call down the hawk, our crate exclusive edition. So from what I know, I think this is the US edition cover. Um, the US edition cover originally was orange, yellow, red, and black, and the our crate edition has been changed to be sort of blues and cream so like navy blue cream and it's called down the hall it's obviously a set our crate exclusive edition um i'll just open it up here and oh, get this out so First things first is our author letter, which comes on um, the Call Down the Hawk. The, um, it's the book cover with the exclusive cover edition. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but just in case you want to pause and read it a bit yourself um, I will also read it out now so so it says dear owls I still remember one of the most terrifying moments of my life I was a spitfire college student with bad social skills plus a worse attitude every day I commuted 1.5 hours to school until I found a shortcut this narrow road cut off a, a corner and rejoin the main road later. If you went twice the speed limit, you could shave off 15 minutes. It was a bad idea. I did it all the time. One day I glimpsed another car ahead of me on this normally empty road. 
Stranger still was that it was identical to my car. Same make, model, colour. And when I caught up at a hairpin turn, I saw that the driver was a slight young woman with hair just my colour, in a ponytail just like mine. Squarish shoulders just like mine, drove just like me. Suddenly I was terrified. What if I caught her eye in the mirror and she had my face? I hit the brakes plus let her tear off. Two decades later, I still don't know why it scared me so bad. I do know that the moment I got home, I started writing a story and that you are holding a box with that story in it now. I hope you like it. Yours, Maggie. <laughs> and it's just got some quotes for the Raven Cycle on the back. Inside, I will read what the story is and then I'll show you the exclusive dust jacket. So it says, the dreamers walk among us, and so do the dreamed. Those who dream cannot stop dreaming. They can only try to control it. Those who are dreamed cannot have their own lives. They will sleep forever if their dreamers die. And then there are those who are drawn to the dreamers, to use them, to trap them, to kill them before their dreams destroy us all. Ronan Lynch is a dreamer. He can pull both curiosities and catastrophes out of his dreams and into his compromised reality. Jordan Hennessy is a thief. The closer she comes to the dream object she is after, the more inextricably she becomes tied to it. Carmen Farrock Lane is a hunter. Her brother was a dreamer and a killer. She has seen what dreaming can do to a person and she has seen the damage that dreamers can do. But that is nothing compared to the destruction that is about to be unleashed. Sounds so awesome. So just before I show the dust jacket too, um, Let's change the direction of this. I'm trying not to scratch anything while I'm looking at it. So we've also got um, our signed edition page for Call Down the Hawk. This signed first edition was printed exclusively for our crate. We've got Call Down the Hawk. We've got the other Raven Cycle series. So we've got the four books from the Raven Cycle series. The Wolves of Mercy Falls, which I don't have. All the Crooked Saints, Scorpio Races, don't have those either. First edition. Um, I'm guessing some quotes, things. And we've just got our prologue, so no maps or anything in there. Just our pretty little sky blue slash grey entrance covers. And oh, I love the smell of a new book. <laughs> In here we've got just got a um, little imprinted the dreamer trilogy I don't know if you can see that there yeah, so it just says the dreamer trilogy imprinted and then on our spine we've just got um, pale blue with dark blue and then a dust jacket. We've got um, our exclusive edition dust jacket, which, if I can get it open, has a piece of Maggie Stevarta's artwork. So it's an exclusive cover as well as an exclusive dust jacket which is so awesome. I'm really, really happy to have it. And you can see Maggie's signature at the bottom there. I don't think as per usual, I will probably leave this one on the inside just because I don't want to um, damage the dust jacket by switching it the other way when it's been folded this way. But yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy to have this edition in this box. Um, I think it was a really good box, um, very worth it for the cost. I can't remember exactly what I paid. Obviously with shipping you've got it, but basically I buy these boxes for the book and then the items last because I don't always know all the items or have all the items or the fandoms or the books or whatever. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this book unboxing. Um, yeah basically book unboxing and if you can please leave a like subscribe comment I always love hearing from you and 
I really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you later. Bye.